Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Organ Preparedness. Today in this video I want to talk about some things, some simple things. Mostly common sense, but in my opinion we should uh, try to remind each other as much as possible even of the small things because um, in this crazy life full of worries and problems, you know, we may overlook some of these things. And I will I will start with Oregon, since it's my home state. You know, right now, as of right now, pretty much everything is closed in Oregon. Um, bars and clubs, uh, gyms, f food, I mean, uh, clothing stores, jewelry stores, furniture stores. Everything that is not exactly related to your immediate survival is closed. You know, food stores are open, pharmacies, gas stations, hospitals, and that's about it. You're not even supposed to be on the street unless you're going to one of those places, you know, for a good reason. And uh, right now we are heading into the summer and, you know, different sources say that this may be over in another month or two. You know, they say that it's going to flatten out and hopefully it will, you know, all of us hope for that. Uh, but... I just wanted to point out one thing as an example, you know, all the stores that sell clothes are closed. And even like Goodwills, it's a second, one of the secondhand stores also is closed. And I was thinking right now you're heading into the summer, uh, which is great, you know, supposedly heat kills COVID-19 and it's easier to survive anything when it's warm out. But, uh, if we were going into the winter and everything was closed, what if you don't have enough of warm clothes, warm boots, shoes, anything winter related clothing wise, and stores would be closed? You know, I was thinking this, you know, I have, I have enough clothes, you know, most people probably have enough used clothes, you know, something you bought before, used a little bit and it's not used, just sitting in your closet. Most people have it probably. However, if you don't and you're on a budget, what do you do? You run to the second hand store and it's closed. What are you going to do then? You're going to freeze? What if you don't have enough warm clothes or blankets and you're going into the winter time and uh, they turn off the electricity? And you live in an apartment. If you live in a house, you probably have fireplace or uh, some wood stove. In an apartment, you don't have them, usually these kind of things. So um, I just wanted to tell everybody, to remind everybody to take this in consideration. You know, hopefully this will be over with. However, they say that in the winter time there will be second wave of coronavirus. I heard this from numerous sources, actually. And let's hope it's not true, you know, but what if it is? So once this is over, at least for now, try to look ahead what you might need, starting with food, water, medicine, and clothing. So try to look ahead, try to think ahead, because if it's true that there will be a second wave of coronavirus, it'll probably be worse because it's going to be heading into the winter and supposedly, you know, it doesn't get killed with cold temperature. It gets killed with hot. So therefore, it could be worse quarantine that could last longer. Who knows what's going to be? My only idea is to prepare as much as possible. Right now, we are kind of limited to what we can prepare. There are still some things you can buy. Water in the state of Oregon, you can only buy one gallon. Yesterday I was in Washington, you can buy two gallons per person. Anyway, last week I bought 15 gallons of water in Washington. This week, only two. Of course, I can go back and forth into the stores and buy two times, two gallons each time and get as much as I want. Fact is, they're putting limit. And that kind of limit can be put on anything. Um, water and food and, and just anything so please 
take all these things in consideration, make a list. Now that some of you may be sitting home because you're out of work, make a list of things you need, make a list of things you might need, and start working on that list. Because if it's to believe them, if there will be a second wave of coronavirus, you know, coming next winter, it probably could be worse. All right, I'm gonna conclude this video. I wish everybody a good day. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it if you find it useful. We'll see you in the next upload. Take care.